The richest man's daughter decided to help her wealthy father search for true love and find a good wife for him. She wanted someone who would love her father for who he was, not for his money or status. To achieve this, she devised a clever plan. Every day, for an entire year, she pretended to have an asthma attack in a public park. She did this with the hope that one day, someone with a genuine heart would come to her aid, revealing their true character. For 365 days, the girl continued her act, collapsing to the ground and feigning an asthma attack, always with her inhaler nearby but just out of reach. People would pass by, some concerned, some indifferent, but no one ever truly stepped in to help in a meaningful way. They were either too rushed or simply offered superficial assistance before moving on. The girl was patient, knowing that finding the right person to save her and potentially become a good wife for her father was a test of both time and character. One day, a homeless woman happened to pass by the park. She noticed the girl lying on the ground, clearly in distress, struggling to breathe. Without hesitation, the woman rushed over, picked up the asthma inhaler, and administered it to the girl, helping her breathe again. The girl, grateful for the woman's genuine act of kindness, knew she had found someone special. To repay the woman for saving her life, she gave her the father's contact information and arranged for them to meet the next day. The father, a wealthy chairman, was intrigued by his daughter's plan and wanted to test the woman's character himself. He decided to conceal his true identity and disguised himself as an air conditioner repairman. When he met the woman, he lied about his status, claiming he earned only $3,000 a month and lived in an 80-square-meter, old apartment. The woman wasn't bothered by this. She was just a street vendor selling lunchboxes, and now that her son was married with children, she only wished for a simple life with a decent man. To further test the woman's sincerity, the chairman suggested they part ways after seeing the expensive menu at the restaurant where they met. The woman, not wanting him to spend too much, invited him to her food stall instead. There, she personally prepared a humble lunchbox for him. Noticing that his clothes were a bit worn, she even offered to sew them for him. These actions deeply moved the chairman, convincing him that she was the ideal wife he had been looking for, someone kind-hearted and selfless. Seeing her sincerity, the chairman decided to propose. The two of them soon went to the Civil Affairs Bureau to get a marriage certificate. Afterward, the chairman returned home and showed the marriage certificate to his daughter. The daughter was surprised and taken aback when she heard the woman's name, it sounded strangely familiar. She had no idea that the woman was actually her biological mother, whom she had lost years ago. To maintain his cover, the chairman continued to hide his true identity. He had his assistant purchase an 80-square-meter-old apartment and told the woman that it was lent to him by an old comrade. Coincidentally, the woman's son also lived in the same community. As they settled into the new apartment, the chairman noticed a missing person flyer in the woman's bag. It was then that he learned she had lost a daughter many years ago and had been searching for her ever since. Touched by her story and determined to help her, he had his assistant print 100,000 copies of the missing person flyer while the woman went out to buy groceries. During her errands, the woman bought an extra can of formula for her grandson. However, when she brought it to her son's house, her daughter-in-law became very angry, pointing out that their son only drank high-end imported formula. She scolded her mother-in-law, telling her not to bring anything anymore. In that moment, the daughter-in-law's mother took out an invitation and invited the woman to her grandson's first birthday party the next day. The woman was excited to receive the invitation, but her daughter-in-law's mother had ulterior motives. She intended to use the party to show off her wealth and make the woman feel inferior so she wouldn't bother them again. Meanwhile, the woman wanted to buy a gold locket as a birthday gift for her grandson. She went to a gold shop, but because she was poorly dressed, the sales clerk looked down on her and mocked her. The clerk told her the current gold price was $1,000 per gram and implied that people like her didn't belong there. Hearing this, the chairman, who was still disguised as an air conditioner repairman, became angry. He took out his wallet and showed the clerk his centurion black card. The clerk was instantly stunned, knowing that only those with more than $100 million in assets could possess such a card. The woman, confused, wondered how an air conditioner repairman could have a black card. 
Sensing a trick, the clerk accused them of pretending and loudly ordered them to leave the store. At that moment, the store manager walked in. Recognizing the man as the chairman of a major corporation, he didn't reveal his identity but quickly apologized for the clerk's behavior. He assured them that all their purchases that day would be free. The woman, still puzzled but happy, chose a simple gold locket, while the chairman also bought a gold bracelet. Back at their new apartment, the woman was worried about what to wear to the birthday party the next day. The chairman's daughter, who had recently bought a new outfit for her, suggested she wear it. When the woman put it on, she looked elegant and sophisticated, which left the chairman in awe. But when she saw the price tag of over $70,000, the woman started to suspect that the father and daughter were not who they claimed to be. As the woman tried to piece everything together, she began to realize the connections, the familiar name, the missing daughter, and the strange kindness shown by the man she thought was just a repairman. Little did she know, the journey she embarked on to find a simple life would lead her back to her long-lost family, reunited.